بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 015 grammar unit 4 lesson 1 the past of verb be the learning objectives dear students by the end of this lesson you will be able to identify the past form of verb be use verb be in affirmative and negative statements Use verb be in yes no questions and wh questions. The past form of verb be affirmative statements. Use was with the personal pronouns I, he, she, it or with the singular form of nouns. Examples I was absent. Notice here after the subject pronoun I we use the verb was he was a famous football player again after the subject pronoun he we also use was she was l again after she we also use the verb was it was cold again after the subject pronoun it we use was use were with the personal pronouns you we they or with the plural form of nouns Examples You were at the dentist. Notice here after the subject pronoun you we use were We were late again after the subject pronoun we we use were They were at school again after the pronoun they we use also were the past form of verb be negative statements and contractions use was not or wasn't with the personal pronouns I, he, she, it or with a singular form of nouns. Examples I was not absent. Notice that we use the word not after the verb. Okay, after the verb. I was not absent. The contracted form I wasn't absent. He was not at school. Again, we use the word not after the verb. He was not at school. The contracted form, he wasn't at school. She was not ill. Again, we use the negative word after the verb. She was not ill. The contracted form, she wasn't ill. It was not cold. Again, we use the negative word after the verb. It was not cold. The contracted form, it wasn't cold. Use were not or the contracted form weren't with the personal pronouns you, we, they or the plural form of nouns. Examples You were not at your desk. Again, we use the negative word after the verb. The contracted form you weren't at your desk. We were not busy. Notice that the word not is used after the verb. The contracted form, we weren't busy. We weren't busy. They were not at the library. Notice again that the word not is used after the verb. They were not at the library. The contracted form, they weren't at the library. The past form of verb be yes, no questions. Begin your yes no question with was with the personal pronouns I, he, she, it or with a singular form of nouns. So start the question with the verb was plus the subject I, he, she or it and then complete your question. Examples Was I famous? Notice here that we start the question with the verb was. After that, we put the subject. Was I famous? The answer, yes, you were or no, you weren't. Another example, was he at school? Again, we start the question with the verb. After that, we put the subject. Was he at school? The answer, yes, he was or no, he wasn't. Another example. Was she busy? Again, we start the question with the verb was. After that, we put the subject. Was she busy? The answer, yes, she was or no, she wasn't. 
another example was it cold again we start the question with the verb was after that we put the subject was it cold the answer yes it was or no it wasn't begin your yes no question with where with the personal pronouns you we they or the plural form of nouns so we start the question with where plus the subject the subject could be you we or they or a plural form of nouns and then complete your questions examples were you at the dentist notice here that the question starts with the verb where after that we have the subject and then complete your question were you at the dentist the answer yes i was or no i wasn't another example were we good again we start with the verb where after that we put the subject were we good yes you were no you weren't another example were they at the library again we start with the verb after that we put the subject were they at the library the answer yes they were or no they weren't so in yes no questions we begin with the verb was or were plus the subject plus the subject after that complete your questions the past form of verb be wh questions begin your wh question with a question word like what where when who why how what time etc then use the same word order as in yes no question remember that in yes no question we start with the verb plus the subject so in wh questions we begin with the wh word with the wh word plus the verb was or where plus the subject plus the subject and then complete your question examples why were you late notice here that the wh question starts with a question word after that we put the verb then we put the subject why were you late the answer because i was asleep another example where was he again we start with the question word then we have the verb after that we need the subject where was he the answer he was at school another example why was she absent again we start with the question word followed by the verb after that we put the subject and we complete the question why was she absent the answer because she was sick another example how was the weather again we start with the question word followed by the verb after that we have the subject how was the weather answer it was cold another example where were you yesterday the question again starts with the question word followed by the verb after that we have the subject and then complete your question where were you yesterday the answer we were at the library another example when were we born again the question starts with a question word after that we have the verb then the subject and then complete your question when were we born you were born in 1990 who were they again start your question with a question word followed by the verb and then put the subject who were they they were my cousins so in wh questions we start with a question word followed by the verb after that we put the subject and then complete your question thank you for listening